Ah, uh, how's it going, Rock viewers? And Merry Christmas! I say that because I'm actually uh, recording this uh, kind of as a Christmas gift for uh, the Discord channel because they're actually getting to view this uh, basically the moment it's out, which is going to be on Christmas. For the rest of you, I'm so sorry. You you probably are getting it weekly, but as you can see, the Grins pick this time. If it, if it's not obvious already, I I I, I, I did Colton White from Gun. You know that that thing y'all keep requesting I do a good version for online? Yeah, I finally had the opportunity to do it and uh, actually we're given the options to do it far better justice than I have in the past. And leagues better than I could ever attempt frickin' Nightwolf. Oh, I still have nightmares of that video. Why did I put that up? That all said, let's go ahead and break down the outfit piece by piece, shall we? Starting off with the hat. Now, fair warning, I'm going to throw out a lot of options at you because I have a lot of options to give. Number one, number two, y'all may not have access to some of this, like uh, the Cleveland hat here. You get this from the second outlaw pass if you paid 40 gold for it. It's John Marston's hat, obviously. You get his entire outfit. I felt it worked because it came in the colors I needed, that nice dark brown. had a nice little feather to it, which I thought was just a nice little touch. Like I felt like it worked. That said... I have other options if you if you don't have that. A fine example, of course, being if you happen to have a good kind of darker brown version of the Omegila, that would definitely sell the look. That brim is perfect for it. Candy hat is kind of a poor man's choice. It it, it will work. It does come in the color you need, but I only recommend it mostly because of the white brim. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna lie. Warm flop hat, oddly enough, kind of works as well. Like, there's a lot of options to go with for the hat here. My controller is vibrating. Someone's causing explosions out there. Failing all else, I mean, you can always just default to the stalker hat, <laughs> which comes in the perfect color we want, and the brim is wide enough to basically forgive just about anything else wrong with it. Just wish it were a little, just a hair whiter, you know? Just, just a hair. There's also the Cordell hat, which if it came in a darker brown, I would also say it would be about spot on, just for how awkward the brim is. But moving on to the rest of this. No eyewear with this outfit, no masks, no bandanas. For neckwear, he is wearing, uh, I'm not entirely sure what else to call this other than a, a choker. And while we definitely don't have anything akin to that, I do feel the narrow neckerchief and either a black or darker brown would kind of help sell that look just a little bit better. Kind of dealer's choice on the color in my opinion. No coats for this outfit, no ponchos, no vests. For shirts however, and this is literally the primary reason I decided to do this video. A bloody Stringham shirt. It's 8 gold bars and it was worth every bloody penny. Because this is perfect for what I want to go with. Just forgive my, uh, my very impressive mustache and little Van Dyke I got going. And uh, yeah, just, just ignore those. And we're going to want that in kind of the more paler tans. Though there are a couple of selections and lighter shades of yellow that would also work in my opinion. No suspenders with this outfit. No gauntlets. No gloves. No rings. No belts. Buckles, pretty much completely dealer's choice. Weapon equipment, however, I have a multitude of suggestions. You can't go with an offhand holster. You don't necessarily need it, but we, I, I have done Mayor Hoodoo Brown's double peacemaker, so I know you can dual wield in the game. And the good man holster and gun belt do wonders for the kind of native look we're going for here, especially with all the little tassels attached to it. Gumbell trinkets? Eh, you don't really need them. I mean, the Whitford Compass does add some style to it, but it's not needed. And bandoliers! Oh, I'm so happy they finally added these. Espinol? Espinol? Espan I keep wanting to say Espanol, and I know that's not that. Screw it. The double bandolier that you actually pay cash for, not gold. Yeah, you want that. Preferably in kind of a more lighter, slightish brown that actually kind of matches the gun belt. So, not necessary. You could go with the one that costs gold, but uh, after looking through the options, honestly, I wasn't impressed enough to be sold on it. Moving on to pants, honestly, it's mostly dealer's choice. The Pitman pants, however, I, I gotta say, I didn't even look at this as an option, but that's perfect, just for pants. Just pants alone, Pitman pants. 
I have no idea why I didn't see that before. Strange. Probably because I'm actually wearing chaps over these to get the color I wanted. I went with the Alvarado chaps, which also have these wonderful little tassels to kind of sell the native look, and comes in a fine selection of kind of lighter tan that we do want, but not light enough to where it doesn't contrast to the shirt. Am I making sense? I hope I'm making sense. Moving on the boots. Worn Roper boots. Good old classic fallback and this nice dirty faded brown. I I really like the faded idea for this outfit. I really do. No spurs with this outfit because to my knowledge of my reckoning and my memory, he's not wearing any. That all said, that's it. I am so happy to have finally done this some better justice than I have in the past, and my god, I actually like this look. I'm gonna go back inside because there's a man outside shooting people. <laughs> As usual though, I hope you all enjoyed. If y'all did enjoy, great way of showing that support is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and by all means share it with your friends. And, you know, while well, again I'm not taking requests on the Grim Picks, I am open to suggestions. And if you maybe want a chance at an early viewing, you're more than welcome to join the Discord. Link down below in the description, where there's a good chance I'm going to do this more often, just for the real radical viewers who decided to just BS it up with me up in the Discord chat and share their own interpretations of outfits and all that wonderful stuff. I, I'm still kind of jealous of how good some of them are. Like, There's this one that came up recently. It was the hobo from, I think it was the Polar Express. He had a, he had a picture of himself in the exact same position as the character he was interpreting. And it is dead the hell on. I'm not even gonna lie, it's dead on. Like, I almost want to do it for the channel and give the man a personal shout out that way. It was good. It was really good. Uh, enough of my rambling, though. As usual, once again, thank you all for watching. Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye bye then. I know y'all can't hear that, but I'm hearing that man outside grunt, and it sounds very sexual for some reason. Red Dead is weird.